Friday that Cruz's announcement on social media was intended to reach a new uh, millennials. ATVN's Rafael Garcia is live in the, the media center. He spoke to young voters about the announcement. Rafael. Thanks, Faith. Many are speculating that the Twitter announcement was a campaign strategy. People believe his, his use of the social media platform will draw support from the millennial generation. But many students here at USC aren't so sure. It's a time for truth. It's going to take a new generation of courageous conservatives to help make America great again. And I'm ready to stand with you to lead the fight. Senator Ted Cruz used Twitter to announce his candidacy. Many believe this is part of his campaign strategy to win younger voters. LA GOP board member Gary Aminoff believe millennials find Cruz very attractive and that he has a big following on his side. I think what they like about him is that he isn't uh, the typical um, establishment candidate. However, Aminoff said he doesn't believe we will see the youth turnout in the same numbers we did in 2008 or 2012. There was a lot of excitement in 2008 uh, by young people about Obama. I'm not sure they, they were that excited in 2012, although he did get a substantial youth vote. And I don't know how they're going to uh, respond to Ted Cruz or to any of the Republican candidates. Members of USC College Republicans think Cruz appeals more to true conservative values. They say this may or may not appeal to a younger demographic. Even amongst the college Republicans, I think a lot of people are in favor of Ted Cruz and aren't in favor. So it's definitely kind of a dual-sided issue. We'll see um, if he's able to. There are other candidates in the party that um, might be more appealing to younger voters. Morley Winograd is a political and millennial expert and thinks Cruz is a viable and energetic candidate. But he thinks his views may not appeal to the majority of the American population. It's not at all clear that his views would capture a majority of the sentiments of, American, of the American population, particularly younger people and minorities. And most of the students that I interviewed here at USC believe Ted Cruz will not have the millennial vote or support from a younger demographic due to his strong and extreme Republican views in his platform. You know, I'm not entirely sure that he would make a great presidential candidate because uh, his views on climate change and other issues are a little bit dated. Um, I think he's a little more extreme on the Republican side of things, and I think if a Republican is going to have a good chance, they're going to have to be pretty moderate. Winograd also said that all social media is built around the notion of sharing and inclusion, and he said that if Cruz's message isn't that way, it will be very difficult to find followers. In the announcement, Cruz said his mission is to, quote, reignite the promise of America. Many more candidates are expected to join the race in the coming months. Back to you guys.